Why do we stop, my friend? There is evil somewhere with its small pants yet unsoiled. Minsk is an open book with many pretty pictures. You hear that, Boo? Your keen skills of observation have not gone unnoticed. Our friend wishes to consult your wisdom. So small is Boo that he is often mistaken for a pine cone, and many secrets are spoken in his hearing. He will tell what he knows. But Minsk, of course, will translate. Oh, the pale scoundrel has his charms, it cannot be denied. But, my friend, it gives me no pleasure to tell you, Estarian is not what he claims to be. Just last night, Minsk was dressing one of his many heroic wounds in camp, when Estarian stumbled upon the scene. I tell you, he grew pale as death itself. He licked his lips and trembled so violently that Minsk thought he might fate on the spot. The truth is painful, but undeniable. Estarion is a coward. How can he fight the battles to come when he grows soft at the first sight of blood? Uh, uh, just one moment. You are sure? And you could not have told me this before? Minsk may have been mistaken. Boo presents compelling evidence that Astarian may, in fact, be a vampire. I fear my hamster has the right of it, as always, but fear not. This world is a strange and wondrous place. Minsk has seen the soul of an angel in a child of Baal. Once, even a kind banker. If the sun can bear to look upon Estarian's monstrous face, then so can Minsk and Boo. For now, at least. Ah, the Great Blade of Frontiers. A fine name. Minsk has no idea what it means, but it suits young Will's air of mystery well. It is good to know the city did not go unprotected while I wore pigeon droppings on the wide. Jahira did her part, of course, but she prefers to scowl from the shadows. This city needs a name, a face, preferably a furry companion, too. Mizora. This is some manner of exotic bird? What? Will, the Blade of Frontiers of whom I heard, is no man to deal with devils. Ah, Boo speaks sense, as ever. There is goodness in Will. We have seen it. If there be a devil on his shoulder, then Minsk and Boo will sit astride the other. He will not be long in coming back to himself, I think. Not minding is one of the many things Minsk is known for. Stop wriggling, Boo, and prick up your ears. Minsk is an open book with many pretty pictures. Boo is ready with the musings. <laughs> Indeed, a berserker after my own heart. Though hers is made of hellish heat and metal and some manner of coin-operated device? I do not think so. Minsk has always been Minsk, except for the times he was Stone, or Stone Lord. Just as Karlak has always been Karlak. Even if all her parts were traded for tin and scrap, Minsk thinks this would still be so. And soon, Karlak will still be Karlak. But Karlak will also be cured. Minsk knows he is right, because Boo is in agreement. And hamsters have no need of hope. We have enough for three. 
Yes, my friend. Minsk is an open book with many pretty pictures. Who is ready with the musings? I do not wish to speak of the wizard. I could not have said it better myself. Yeah, he came to me one night with a little book of mischief, full of words and their meanings. Posterior, he says. Can you say posterior? Pfft, I refused. Minsk does not need to know the language of wizards. It is an inferior word. Far too long to use in a battle cry, which is where a butt belongs. Gael would do better to educate himself in the ways of sword and steel than to throw these pointy words at Minsk. Ah, yes. Gael also owns a cat. A cat with wings. That is most unnerving for poor Boo. What? That is a thousand times more interesting than anything that has ever been written in a book. Gale! My good friend! Where are you? Minsk and Boo would like to hear about the exploding! I haven't had a clean catch in a ten day or more. Why do we stop, my friend? There is evil somewhere with its small pants yet unsoiled. Minsk is an open book. With many pretty pictures. Who is ready with the musings? Who is Halsen? Somehow, such a person as you describe has entirely escaped Minsk's notice. How strange. Oh, the tiny puny elf with leaves in his hair and dirt under his fingernails. His name is Halitosin. How very unfortunate. Ah, Minsk saw the druid chasing himself in circles and sniffing his own butt last night. He has spent too long as a wolf and not enough as a man. No, Boo! The druid did not beat Minsk at the arm wrestling. It was not a fair match, and it turned into an owl bear midway through, and there was grease on the tree stump. You want four birds on the sledge? Stop wriggling, Boo, and prick up your ears. Minsk is an open book with many pretty pictures. Boo is ready with the musings. Minsk knows her people well. The skin of the world is thin up in Rashomon, and it is easier there for things to slip between the plains. Sometimes these are wonders from other worlds. Sometimes warriors, hungry for plunder. Such visitors have inspired a saying among my people. The children of Gith live long and forget the face of death. And so they come to Rashiman to be reminded. They are raiders, so they raid. Minsk's people are berserkers, and so they get a little grumpy at this. It is no bone-deep blood feud as it is with the Red Wizards of Thay. No, Minsk has no hatred for Githyanki. It is a fine thing to fight against them. And a fine thing to fight beside them, too, I think. Besides, the children of Gith alone have witnessed a sight that I have long yearned to behold. And for a moment, you share in a vision tinged with his awe. Imaginings of the Astral Sea. An immense horde of wild space hamsters drifting in the endless expanse. The Githyanki may have Minsk of Rashiman's ire, sometimes healthy servings of his sword, but for this and this alone, they shall always have his respect. 